This hard drive does have movement. You can feel the plugs are spin on. But when it comes to testing the drive in BIOS, there's no detection. This drive therefore has a, a fault on the PCB. We must test this drive again using the multimeter. In this scenario, is the values of the resistors. The values are actually printed on the resistors, and the ones we are testing at the moment are 330. On a multimeter, the, these will read as 33 or 34. Anything higher than that, and there's a fault with the component. We need to test each and every side of these resistors until we find the faulty component. The component we're testing now has a value of 820, which should be reading as 82. The value, this component is dead. The value should be reading 83. And we're instead we're receiving a value of a fluctuating value. But this component's faulty. So we will remove the resistor and replace it with a working component. In this scenario, you will find that 99% of the time the fault is down to the resistor and 1% of the time it would be the IC chip. You need to remove this component by just melting the solder very carefully. You may need to use a small amount of solder to heat the elements. Heat both sides until you can move the chip away. Make sure that you don't damage any other components on the board. Place a small amount of solder on each of the pins. And clean the area with a small amount of flux. Make sure that you clean any spare flux away. Do not solder until the area is dry. Here we are taking, are going to test a PCB to see if we can find a suitable component. This resistor also shows a value of 830 and on the multimeter everything is reading as 82. This, resist this resistor is okay. So we'll go ahead and desolder this resistor and solder it in place of the faulty resistor. It's important to clean your soldering iron every time you use it. Very carefully melt the solder apply more solder if needed. Melt the solder on both sides of the resistor. Once it is free, use a device to move it. You may use tweezers or a pin with the soldering iron. The choice is yours. is free, we can move it over to the new PCB, or the PCB that we're repairing. Clean the solder on the pins. Very carefully just apply a small amount of solder to each of the soldering pins. Trying to be careful not to make sure that you make any bridges. Any bridges will affect the joint. And you'll detect this when you test it after you've sorted the component on. Once 
components. We have a small amount of solder on the pads and a small amount of solder on the component. We can go ahead and very carefully solder the component to the board. Do this one pin at a time. On both sides of the resistor.